For many, the discovery of feminism is an awakening. It often hits like a flash of insight, or what feminists of the 70s called a click moment. For sure, it did not take until the 20th century for a Jewish woman to have a click moment. Let's rewind to find one of the firsts. Ah, there she is. Miriam the prophet took her timbrel in her hand and all the women followed her just as she had planned. A click moment that moved Miriam to find her own groove and led countless women to get up, get out, and make some noise. Since Miriam's time, click moments have continued to call women to action in places all over the world. But it wasn't until the 19th century that the click moments of many individuals converged at such an earth-shattering magnitude that a unified women's movement was born. First wave feminism counted among its leaders a Jewish immigrant by the name of Ernestine Rose, who took her place among the great suffragettes. And Regina Jonas, the first ever female rabbi, who stated that God does not discriminate on the basis of gender, thus shattering the stained glass ceiling for future generations. But wouldn't you know, it took a suburban housewife of 1960s America to define for millions the problem that had no name. The frustration of many middle-class women who felt trapped in roles that did not provide them with full and meaningful lives. Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique flew off bookshelves when it appeared in 1962 and was a significant catalyst for the beginning of second wave feminism in the United States. The first step in the revolution is consciousness. Consciousness raising exploded in the 70s as a new generation of feminists pushed for equality on all fronts. As they claimed, the personal is political. Naturally, feminism found its way inside American synagogues. For some, being counted in a minion, called for an aliyah, or wearing a talus was enough, while others insisted on a complete overhaul of tradition. Which brings us to today. Feminism is trending. As one young woman put it, I've learned more about the feminist movement on Twitter than anywhere else. We live in a time where each of us has the opportunity to reach a global audience with just the click of a button. The question is, now that we have that ability, what are the truths that we need to reveal? What in our subconscious needs to be awakened? What do you want to shout out loud from the top of a mountain for all to hear?